Hey YouTubers, Steven here. How's everybody doing? Okay, so this video is going to be a little different, but um, something that I just kind of found out myself, and I'm embarrassed to say that I haven't been doing this maintenance. Uh, In-floor heating. Um, mine, uh, as you see behind me, is hot water boiler. Okay, and all this fun stuff. I'm going to go over it with you. Hunter happens to work in uh, concrete doing foundations and whatnot, and uh, happened to talk to one of the guys that was putting in a, an in-floor system, and he happened to ask about maintenance, and uh, well, I was quite shocked that this system should be flushed at least once every year to three years, but, you know, it, flushing it, period. I've been here for 12 years, so I can imagine what gunk this might have in it. Besides, um, also learning that this could be affecting my efficiency. So it could be costing me more to heat my house with in-floor heating because in past years um, the in-floor heating works so well down here that uh, it heats upstairs. So uh, we rarely have to turn on any heat and it's electric baseboard upstairs. I'm going to move the camera so I can explain the system. Um, Every system is going to be different slightly, but the, the components are all going to be the same. So uh, we can go over everything and um, well, I'll cross our fingers that I don't run into any problems. And, uh, well, I can't wait to see what comes out the end of the hose. <laughs> I won't be surprised if it, uh, if it looks like a lot of uh, brown or black sludge. But anyways, let's get this set up and uh, let's go. Okay, so... I'm squatting over. We already discussed this is hot water boiler. Um, so, over here, we'll start with the fresh water. This is a fresh water line. Um, this is in the off position because you only put the water in the system. Um, every year I've been opening that and putting fresh water in it. So, bonus on that one. Um, so, we come down here. This is a pressure relief valve. Uh, it's exact function, not 100%, but the water comes in and then we come in here to a split with, it has another pressure valve up here. Now, your, all systems will have this. All systems will also have a pump. And this silver contraption here is an overflow. So basically like in your cooling system, in your car, right? If um, the water expands and, uh, well, expands when it gets hot, if the system has too much, um, it can put it into here, right? If it's really too much, too much pressure, then it'll come out here. This is a pre another pressure relief valve here, and it will just dump it on your floor. But, um, once your system is filled, basically the water, the pump, will push the water down this way, and then down towards the floor, and I'll show you the tubes. Um, in a minute when we get down to it and then it comes back up through the floor into this pipe here into the boiler gets heated goes back out through here and it just cycles down all through the system again so the hot water comes down to this set of valves and each one of these would be called a zone or basically your room okay and then it goes down into the ground to the room and then it comes back out here to this manifold and then goes back up to be heated. What we're going to do is we're going to turn off all of these valves. Like so. And then once we hook up our water, we're going to open one valve at a time. And we're going to flush that zone out until it runs clear out at the street. We have the, the gist of how the water is going to cycle. I keep doing it this way. It's actually come this way, how it cycles. So we don't want the sludge going through the boiler. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. So there's that took me a, a few minutes to figure out why there's two of these valves here. Um, there's a shutoff valve here in between. So we're going to pull this so that we're not putting the sludge and crap into the boiler. All right, so 
the water, the fresh water is going to cycle through the system and we're going to hook up our hose here so that it will send it out to the street. We'll do all through the valves. We'll get all those done. But then, we still have the boiler to flush out as well. All right? So in that case, we're going to disconnect it here. All right? Close this one off, disconnect it. Then we're going to disconnect our hose to this one. And then we're going to turn on the fresh water again. And then that's going to, up here at the split, the water's not going to go through the manifolds because we've got it shut off. It's going to force the water through the outlet into the boiler and back flush it. At least that's my theory how it's going to work. All right, so hose is on. It's good and tight. We've got it run out to the street. So let's open the valve. Listen for any bad noises. <laughs> Gonna open the first valve for the first zone. Oh, some gurgling. And I'm just going to gently turn on the cold water. Yeah. Let's go outside and see what's happening. Well, the good news is. It doesn't seem to be that much sludge in it. It looks fairly clear. But, I'm going to flush out the other lines anyways. And, uh, we'll get back to you. Alright, so we shut off the water. Here's uh, something to think about. There's going to be water in the line, so I'm going to kink this end. Just to minimize any spillage. That's turned off, yes. And I turned off my cold water. So all my uh, zones are turned off. Very pleased to see there was no sludge. <sighs> Making sure I don't cross through this. Alright, nice and tight. Alright, now I'm going to turn on the cold water and see if I can flush this out. Ah! We got water going through. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I've just removed the hose. Remember to kink it. Okay, I'm down in the basement, so all the water that's in the hose down to the floor. If you don't kink it, it's all going to come down. So make sure to kink it, put it out the window, and then you can let it go. And then that way you're not spilling any water in here. Because I have zero water on the floor. <laughs> Quite impressed. I was waiting for everything to go wrong. So let's turn our expansion take valve back on. Um, I didn't say that earlier in the video. You should turn it off. The pressure in it should keep any water from going in, but... I digress. So we're going to open this valve back up. I'm going to turn the water back on again just so that the water, the system pressurizes water. Um, I'm sure the water coming through this line probably doesn't fill these hoses so well. So not sure, but let's open our valves back up. And we'll just uh, wait a couple of minutes. Everything will get pressurized, and we should be golden for this year. So hopefully you found this video useful, helpful. Um, I'm glad to see that there was no sludge in my system. So, so hopefully when you do this yourself, you'll have the same results. It'll be nice and clear. It'll just give you that peace of mind that your system is going to be running at its most efficiency, whatever that is. But you know what? Uh, a system's going to work better maintained than not. So if you really like this video, share with your friends and um, you know leave a comment below. Say hello. So until next time, cheers. Oh wait, <laughs> don't forget turn your cold water off once your system's pressurized. Catch you next time.